All right, so, um, recently me and my went garage sailing. We got a bunch of stuff lately. We got a bunch of stuff while we were going garage sailing. And we were missing, no, we went garage sailing recently and we stopped at a lot of places, got a lot of stuff. We we're eventually hurting, um, towards the end of the day, or towards the end or it's the end of the garage sailing, sailing and we decided to just stop at two more and then whatever ones we found away on the way back to the house um because we were really far at the time um but before we decided to call it quits we decided we'd stop at two less garage sales one I don't think had anything I was really interested in um, that I recall. And then the second one um, had something, had didn't have really a whole lot. There wasn't anything that for me to really buy there. Um, I didn't really see anything, but however, just because I didn't buy anything from that garage sale doesn't mean I didn't get anything from that one because they had a free table and sitting on it was a certain video game console that they were giving away for free and it was covered in dirt and muck and grime and stuff so it needed a good wipe down but they, the problem was is that they didn't have any of the games for it at the anymore. They didn't have any controllers and they didn't have the colored um, TV cable that we needed. So all of that I needed before I even played the game. And so we went to Oogie Games today. Um, the grad thing was a couple days ago. We went to Oogie Games today and we picked up a colored cable, a controller, and a video game. Now, sadly, they didn't have uh, any video games for this console there. They did, but it was all just, it was literally all just sports and racing. Like, literally all just sports and racing games. And I'm not even joking. My first, so I picked up my first game for this console, and I picked a racing game and if you want to know which console this is yep a Nintendo 64 as you can see it's all set up we've got the TV core then we've got a controller down there Yeah, this is gonna be my first. This is gonna be the first time I've ever played. Well, that's not to say I haven't played a Nintendo 64 before. A friend had one. But it's been years, so, and I didn't really play it yet. I don't think I really played it all that much. But yeah, I will be doing first reactions to my first ever owned Nintendo 64 game. Oh, and I forgot to take the game out. So I chose Mario Kart 64. I'm about to put it in. It may not 
happy. Sure, the one time I blow on it. Alright, I played a bit of Mario Kart in the past years, but I've never played this one. me and they always go with the green dinosaur. Luigi Raceway, Moomoo Moo Farm, Koopa Troopa Beach, Kamari Desert, Toad's Turnpike, Fergus Miller, Cocoa Mountain, Mario Raceway. I wonder which ones in this are the ones that are returning, which ones are new. Oh my god, Rainbow Road. Well, obviously Rainbow Road is returning, if you can even count that as a returning track. I just know that every single release of Mario Kart has had its own um, Rainbow Road, its own version of it. I'm just going to go with the Mushroom Cup. Oh, and there's a little trigger in the back. That's such a weird place to put it. I didn't even know it was there. What does it do? Whatever. I don't care. Alright, I'm holding down the A I just kind of assumed that was going to be the accelerate. I don't know how I do that. Actually, how do I... I don't know how to use item speed. He's not doing anything. Alright, so... R is to drift. Alright, so the L plays with the music. Oh, it's that trigger, it's that weirdly placed trigger button. It's, like, it's on the bottom of the controller, but it's like right in the middle. picked up this trick where you can just hold it behind you <laughs> and you can even use it to block just to block from um, enemy attacks I learned it while I was playing my first Mario Kart game Mario Kart Day DS that was my first ever Mario Kart and the one that I grew I didn't play the Nintendo 64 when I was a kid is because when it came out, it was, um, I was, I was pretty much just born. I was a baby during its whole, like, life cycle, I think. I 
his way to you know, to play video games at the time. Well, I guess on this thing were like Leapster or actually, depending on how young I was, I still would rent to be in front of that. Um, but while they do have like games made for babies and you know, like literal games made made for literal babies. Um, a lot of those weren't even out till I was like uh, maybe maybe like in my tween years. Not necessarily teenager, but not necessarily child, I guess. This one's an original track for for this game. Unless this was in Super Mario Kart. I don't think I ever played Super Mario Kart either. I gotta say, the, the AI is actually pretty good in this. This is actually a much better AI for me than in Crash Team Racing. While I do love Crash Team Racing more than any Mario Kart, I probably always will. Um, it's not to say I don't have beef with it, which is the AI. There's like three difficulties you can choose from, easy, medium, and hard. And easy is just, um, easy is just baby mode and crash team racing. Medium is pro and hard is expert. The game doesn't even feel like it even has a more manageable AI. Ooh. I almost thought that was a ramp. Well, I did think that was a ramp, I should say. First of the Mario Karts to give us um, those floaty mystery boxes. I might have already said that. Okay, I don't remember actually. Right. Oh, 
there was like a turn there. Yeah. Looks like there's like a tunnel. Oh shoot. I don't know how I managed that. shortcuts in these tracks. I'm just not taking it. I tried to take the tunnel a couple of times. I'll try it again this time. I'm assuming there's like probably one more shortcut. Ah, oh, I missed it again. Attention to this track's name. Whatever. Heh, <laughs> Mario only has one point. <laughs> I thought this game was called Mario Kart. I guess not everyone can win their own tournaments. And look at Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes, I went there. And Kaiba. Self. Ah. <laughs> the cart isn't the easiest to control. So I don't think I was supposed to I part of me doesn't think I was really supposed to take that tunnel. Um, I really don't know what happened. There's the blue shell. That'll knock out the guy in first place for me. Darn it, unless I can just catch up somehow. I don't even know how I even took the tunnel. I, I was trying to go straight. I think I crashed into something and my cart faced a different way. I don't think I actually turned to that way on purpose. As soon as I saw the cars crossing the finish line while I was still on the track, I knew there was something. I knew 
though I probably did something I shouldn't have. Alright, it's just, it, uh, I was going to say it might be a little bit close, but I keep driving off road. I would have caught up with them, caught, started catching up with them all by this point. And at least finish seven. At least seven. Yay, seven. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Yeah, I, that tunnel cost me. Oh, to self, do not t take train tunnels. Wait, you have to win it? I thought I was just gonna end up adding all the points together. Well, I won't take the train tunnel this time. I think I've gotten used to the track now, the track layout. I just gotta make sure I keep my eyes around the road, not the mini map. down button does it too. I just pressed the down button with my thumb while holding the A button and he ended up using the item. See a peach? It's been real peachy knowing you. There's a single race mode. Keep looking down at the iPad screen. Make sure that I'm still re recording. And then I drive off road because I'm not paying attention. Come on, give me something good here. Alright, fine, that'll do. Yeah, <laughs> and she still got hit by the item. Alright, yeah, I'm still recording. I can usually do that better, but why did my throat hurts today whenever I try to do the Yoshi voice? <clears throat> it's not obvious Yoshi is my favorite Mario character.
Oh yeah, and this is that game with that secret ending. If you end up getting like last place on every single raid. Or getting, at least getting last place on the scoreboard. Um, you'll be the car that's up on a hill or something. You'd be surprised how many YouTube videos cover this game and the alternate ending. Where you're like hit by a, a bomb or a shell or something. You are awarded the gold cup. be better if I did, like, data that I could be fighting a ghost. Oh, wow. And yeah, I have seen this version of Rainbow Road in other Mario releases and other Mario Kart releases, I should say, and, um, as well as covered on YouTube channels was the first time I'm experiencing this Rainbow Road on its home console with its original graphics and with my own hands on the controller. This is a long track. I don't think that I think I think this game actually came out the same year of yeah, this console came out the same year I was born. I think it bring my phone down for me. Oh my god, it's just such an awesome find. A very first N64 game was Mario Kart. Mario Kart 64. Not my first console. Not my first console. From the first game I ever owned, and actually don't even remember the first game I ever owned. I want to say it was maybe Monsters Inc. for Game Boy Color. When I was just getting into video games as a kid. Well, either that or um, Scooby Doo. stories or whatever it was called for Game Boy Color. So I think Game Boy Color was my first real video game console, but I really don't remember. It was either the Game Boy Color or the PlayStation 1. It was the PlayStation 1. Then I don't even remember what game that was at all. I've got so many PlayStation games. Memories have returned to me. Memories I have completely forgotten have returned to me over the years, very slowly. But it has happened. Cool. I think there's going to be like another mystery box. 
I probably have already caught this point, I guess not. It's late at night, so I'm not necessarily thinking straight. Which doesn't help, but it just means that I'm tired, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm playing Nintendo 64. But yeah, I never thought in my life that if I ever did end up owning a Nintendo 64, that my first game was going to be Mario Kart 64. It was definitely a game that I wanted. Um, what if I end up getting Nintendo 64, but it wouldn't have been my normal pick. The reason why they only had what games, movie games only had racing and sports games because every they were out of everything else. It's one of my favorites. One of my favorite versions, but it would definitely makes the top five. One thing I've been wanting to see um, Nintendo do is give us a give us a couple Mario Kart games, but along the likes of Mario Kart, of oh, the likes of like a Super Mario Maker treatment or the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate treatment, where we have every racer that's ever been in the game, in the game, and I'm sure that's probably every Mario game, that every next Mario game that release, Mario Kart game that releases. Um, but everyone is in the game to play as from the, well not racer, but like, I mean, not from the start. I like to, like, unlock some racers here and there. If I can. But, I could have, like, a, all the racers in the game, and then, like, all the different versions of all the different tracks. Like, we'd have this track running on the, um, we'd have this same this version of Rainbow Road with its current graphics and then its current graphics um, for the N64 and then like we'd have like another track of that's like the same track but it's like a redesign or upgrade or something from one of the later consoles that added some of the later features into it And I would like to see like a system, either way, whether it's like a Super Mario, whether it's even like, whether it gets more maker treatment or not, what we sure want to see is cup customization, like we had Mario Kart 7 for 3DS, where you could create your own um, Grand Prix tournament, Grand Prix Cup using your favorite, favorite tracks. Well, like, let us make multiple ones. There's like eight, there's normally like eight cups in total. So I would think it'd be pretty cool if they like gave us the option to um, maybe make at least four cups. Half of, half of what they normally have these days. This game obviously only has four cups, but I think some of the more recent stuff um, but yeah, you can just choose any version of any track you want. You could even, like, name each, give each tournament your own name. 
its own name and icon, which would affect how the trophy looks. And as for like the Mario Kart Maker, I would like to see something along the lines of getting to take um, pictures of the house or a video or something and um, be able to build a track using the uh, pictures or video or whatever in the, um, in the game. And you could like have something that looks like that one video with all the match cars racing on a track um, all around the house. Like there was the DeLorean from Back to the Future. There's the Mystery Machine from Scooby-Doo, Batmobile from Batman. Um, I don't even remember what all was there. There's like a whole bunch of the like Hot Wheels or Matchbox cars named off different vehicles from the different shows and movies and stuff. I think the and then at, at the end of the video, um, the blue, the mystery machine was, well, I'm not going to spoil it, um, I'm, so I'm just trying to remember what the video was, but well, I'll just probably leave a link to it in the description below if I can find it. It was absolutely awesome. I remember my favorite part was um, you, you the cars drive down the toilet drain and then somehow they exit the tunnel that they entered through the toilet drain and out onto the outside house gutters. And they're racing along that. And eventually they live race through these tubes that are stretched out um, in the actual pools filled up, in, which are filled up. And it's got like colored balls and stuff that you can like see floating around the cars as they race through the tunnel. That's probably my favorite part of the whole video. That was the video that got me the idea of like a Mario Kart Maker game. I know we technically have Home Circuit, but you can't play Home Circuit without the RC car, and who's to say you're even going to really even be able to come up with anything? I'm just probably a lot of creative ones out there, but who says that you're going to come up with something really? both creative and good. Like, it's definitely possible. I've seen people actually create really good racetracks. But... I would like to see... Draw your track. Just draw your track throughout the um, different environments. Like even, well, I think it'd be cool if they even like allow the players to rig their AI racers to be like certain racers every time. Different variants of that racer or whatever. I think that'd be pretty cool. Heck, maybe even like a challenge system where you force a pl the player to play as a certain character. Not that that usually even has anything. To, not that it usually has anything. That 
changes the game. I mean, I guess each card is supposed to have its own stats or something, but um, at least in Mario Kart DS they did. But honestly, the all the racers just felt the same to me. You know, you know the racers felt harder to drive than others, harder to control than others. That's gonna be it. I absolutely love Rainbow Road, by the way. Definitely one of my top five favorites. Um, just... I just wanna see what extra is. Does it give us, no? All right, it's probably just gonna be mirror mode. I have a feeling it's just gonna be mirror mode. but it says controller pack, so I don't know what that means. I think it may be that extra storage thing that's in the actual console, but... So it allows you to see your records for each course. Oh, well, that's cool. I, I keep I keep thinking the down button is the B button. Because that's what I'm used to on um, certain devices. And I'm not used to the B being on the other side. Actually, I think even like today, even with the switch, the B is where that down arrow is. Oh, I see. I'm looking where I saw that. That um. Actually, I see where it was talking about the controller pack. I'm not sure what that would be. What that would be used for this game. Maybe a rumble function, a rumble pack. That's about all I can come up with. Let's find wherever that, tri that trigger was. And I, I have to say, I can completely see why people say that it's, it was just, that the Wii nunchuck was just the um, large handle part of the Shock. It actually, the heart large hand from part of the N64 controller. I can completely see that now. That makes a lot of sense. So if I have two controllers, I can do um, the Mario Grand Prix two players, do a versus mode in the battle, and three and four do versus in battle. They should have like a single player AI battle mode in this game. I think that would have made more sense considering that's what they did with future player purposes.
see everything this game has to offer um, in terms of its features. This was my very first Nintendo 64 game, known as Mario Kart 64, on my completely free Nintendo 64 console, minus the controller, the game, and the cord, which I don't even remember how much money that came down to. It came down to like $50. Got the stuff I needed to play it. But hey, it was a small price to pay. Yeah, at least the actual console part was free. I still had my cord that from my GameCube. I could have used the app. I gave it away when I gave my GameCube away. And then my brother, one of my brothers said they found one of their old controllers. Didn't necessarily say I could have it, but I, don't know, I guess you can just call it reading between the lines or something. I assumed it was an offer. But um, I'm not really going to bring it up again or anything. I am going to be sending him this video anyway, so he sees my, is able to see my first time playing this thing. Sorry about the camera angle, I have my iPad recording from the ground, and it's looking up at the screen from by a table, by a table in the back, holding it. So, but yeah, that'll conclude it for my first time reactions of Mario Kart 8 and commentary. Um, what'd you think of the video? If you want to see more videos like this, leave a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon. Because me and my videos don't get any views, so anyone who views any one of my videos is greatly appreciated. I have a really fun video that I did not too long ago where I was playing Flash games from Flat Blue Maximus Flashpoint. There are some games I even played that were no longer even up on the certain websites and are really hard to find if you're looking for them. And I forgot where I was. Sorry, it's because it's so late. Forgot what I was even saying. But yeah, I'm just gonna end it here. Oh yeah, I remember what I was saying. So I was playing the Flash games that were no longer even up on certain websites and would have been hard to find. So if you guys like Flash games or just certain, maybe some certain TV shows, I recommend checking it out and letting me know if I should do more of those. I actually had a lot of fun with that video. But anyway, until next time, Keely Wilbur, this has been Keely Wilbur Sophia the First, and may your heart be your guiding key.